Hi, in this episode I'm going to take a closer look at GeoPackage in QGIS. So, in uh, this episode I will try to explain why I think that GeoPackage is the perfect format for GIS and it's really good with uh, QGIS. And for instance, you can store more or less any format uh, types in a side uh, geo package. Uh, you can store raster data, and I will show that later. It's a bit fiddly, but you can. And uh, but it really excels at uh, storing vector data. And uh, all of the limitations with the shapefile format is. Uh, managed with the geo package uh, so it's better in every single way uh, in my opinion uh, to create a new geo package uh, it's really simple you just press the create new geo package then you can create a geo package we call it test package test test package like that you can give the table you want a name let's use it to create some points and as you see in a geo package you can create a lot of different geometry types uh, points lines polygon multi points lines polygons compound curves curve polygons and multi curve and then also multi-surface. So let's just create a point layer with one attribute. Like that. And we're done. We have a point layer. I can edit it, add points. And so on. And you can edit it uh, however you want. Uh, there's no difference <coughs> between a geo package vector layer or any other type of uh, vector layer. Uh, let's remove that. If you create a temporary scratch layer, let's make a polygon. Uh, it's really easy to convert that to a geo package. Just press the chip symbol, and the default format is a geo package. And let's put it in the same geo package as I created before, but a new name. Let's call it Polygon, like that. And we're done. You can also really easy package uh, a, a project, uh, the layers in a project, into a single geo package. And there's a processing tool for that. Geo, let's see, package layers. You just select the layers you want to package. Let's take both of them. And we can opt to save the styles inside the geo package. I will get back to that, to that later. Save to a file. And let's put it the same place, but new test. Like that. And now I should have. my new test package let's close this with a world map and my scratch layer so it's really tied into the workflow in QGIS 
uh, working with GeoPackage. Okay, let me open a new project. I have connected a GeoPackage in under GeoPackage here. And here I have a project inside a GeoPackage file. Uh, and as you see here, I have a raster layer inside the GeoPackage. This layer here. I also have an elevation layer that is uh, with a hill shade style. And I have a few other layers here as well. Um, if you have styled a layer uh, like this point layer, I don't have any points, but I have labels. And with um, masking enabled. I may want to save the styles and I do that in the layer properties and when I save as default I get the option to save in the data source database and that will save the style uh, connected to this layer in a style table inside the geo package. Uh, and anytime QGIS opens a geo package layer, it checks for uh, the existence of a style inside this style table. And if there is a style that is default, then that is applied to the layer. Uh, you can also save more styles, uh, named styles, in this uh, table and switch between them. Uh, but since I also have saved the project inside the geo package, that also includes the default or the uh, specified styles for uh, all the layers. Uh, and to save a project inside a geo package, you go to save and save to geo package. And here you have your connected your packages, or you can create a new your package, uh, like this even newer your package. And give it a project name. New oh, copy project. And if you have more projects inside it, you can manage them as well. So, here we go. I have a even newer geo package with a copy of the project. Uh, but right now, it points to the layers in the previous uh, geo package. So, what else can you include in the geo package? Well, since both the styling and the project file can be stored inside the geo package, anything you can store inside those two uh, instances can also be stored in the geo package. So, for instance, layouts can be stored. So, I have already uh, layout inside the project file that is in the geo package so that is also easy to uh, include uh, if you have complex styling that can also be included since the style is also saved inside the geo package uh, for instance if we take this and create uh, SVG uh, marker and maybe I'm not satisfied with the built-in ones I can pick up a new one then I can embed the SVG file 
inside the style like that so now the svg file is embedded in the style which is embedded in the layer which is embedded in the geo package theoretically um, a lot of other stuff can also be included inside the geo package because it is a, a, a standalone database uh, and any type of data can be stored in a database so you could store uh, custom python scripts uh, you could store uh, raster images uh, not sure about fonts how uh, feasible that would be since you need to install fonts uh, but there are uh, a lot of stuff you can include you can e even include uh, models uh, that you create uh, because you can include uh, models uh, inside your project so you can save your model inside your project uh, I haven't had extreme luck with this uh, when it comes to geo package uh, I'm not sure if it's fully supported yet but uh, it should shouldn't be any problem to uh, include uh, models inside the project that is inside a geo package so how about other GIS well ArcGIS software for instance support reading of geo package where with little to no problem uh, at least when it comes to vector data uh, it will not read the symbology since that is uh, QGIS specific but the data layers the vector layers uh, it can read with no issues um, there may be some uh, performance differences uh, when reading a geo package in ArcGIS but uh, uh, there is no compatibility issues uh, you can probably get better support in ArcGIS through extensions uh, but out of the box you only get read support uh, for uh, geo package and of course if you are using safe soft FME uh, that also supports uh, geo package uh, no problems um, other GIS and uh, online services and so on are starting to support geo package more and more uh, and I will try to show you some examples of uh, how geo package is used I created my own uh, let's see geo package with uh, Swedish National Land Survey data uh, a project file and uh, vector data for the entire country uh, easy to access in one file it's a uh, kind of a large file but uh, let's see if you can pull that up it's almost 12 gigabytes um, but that's a pretty simple vector uh, project file with all necessary data for the topographic map I also have a UK example uh, they have an excellent project called uh, open zoom stack and that is actually adapted to several uh, zoom levels as well so there's one project and one file for a lot of different levels so the further in you zoom in uh, into this project the more detail you get let's see where in the next change oh it's still reading this also is a large file I think it was 12 gigs as well yeah but uh, a lot of effort has gone into this project so it will change and adapt to the zoom level in a really nice way like this and when everything is 
in the system and it has uh, read it through a few times uh, it's pretty quick as well compared to loading individual shape files oh uh, and another thing uh, the, sh the geo package files they really are one single file not like the file geodatabase uh, that uh, sre software is based around uh, where it's a folder with a lot of files this is one single file and in it everything can be included uh, raster data vector data styling project files print layouts anything more or less and uh, i'm convinced there will be uh, even more support for uh, more things in the future so if you have a project or a simple uh, vector layers that you want to distribute to others uh, even if they don't have QGIS installed uh, GeoPackage is a really good format to do this it's one single file and if they have QGIS they can get the styling that you have selected uh, and created they can even get the project with the print templates and anything like that also included within this single file so let's say you have received a geo package file in the mail or you have downloaded it all you have to do is save it to disk and drop it into QGIS uh, this is something that could be improved upon uh, because now I get a dialogue that finds the raster layers to add so I can select uh, a raster layer and press OK but there it stops uh, if I add it again and click escape or ca press cancel I get uh, the option to select vector layers like that so there are things that could be improved and uh, for instance I would have liked to see the option to add the project as well uh, but anyway and if you know there's a project file inside the geopackage file you can go to the geopackage you downloaded and drag and drop the project inside uh, QGIS like that see you next time